I like the music, I like the way it interacted with the movement, and I also like the um, the text that you used, the, the credits, like the shading. The font. Yeah, the font. I like the shading and I liked the um, the spark that it put out, the, that mm. kept it kind of, there's movement to it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like the way the, I like the, way the spark and calm mm. production is suddenly cut and then it gets into the, gets into the video. I like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I liked it too. I liked where the music kicked in at exactly the right time. We expect it. To, it tells you right now that now we're starting. Now into the opening into sequence. Into the opening sequence yeah. proper. Yeah. Um, I liked how you introduced the characters and really focused on the main character a lot. I thought the music playing over the top was good. Mm. It added some extra emotion to it. Mm. <laughs> The title explained exactly what the whole film was going to be about. Mm. I thought the editing was quite good <laughs> as well. The transition for the shots was nice. It was not jumpy and pausy. I had trouble reading the um, text message. Maybe on the phone? Maybe it wasn't on for long enough. I mm. couldn't read it, so I didn't know what it said. And I think that was probably pretty important. Mm. I found... Um, I understand the bit that was um, filmed near the school was to link it in with the school so that like the text message was sent and then he was getting ready and then he was going into school but I don't think that was completely clear what was happening and as far as like he was getting up in the morning getting ready for school um, and going to that venue it kind of that was a, a little bit kind of too nuanced for me. What, what would have helped? Like an alarm clock or something? Just Maybe an alarm clock and maybe a sign of a school or something mm -hmm. you know but yeah. Yeah, I can understand you can't use the school name and things like that, but yeah. just mm -hmm. the contextualisation wasn't wasn't as leaping out at me as it could have been. But that's probably just because I'm not good at nuances. Yeah. <laughs> well, is, is the opening sequence supposed to frame up kind of the film, the piece that comes up? I suppose the scenario that sets the scene, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Like, right, this is this is yeah. coming. This is what the whole film's all about. So yeah, and I suppose it, as it develops when you when you then move on into the film, you get. That. So it's a, yeah, so in that way, it's a good as a, as a sort of a teaser about what's going to happen next. Mm. <laughs> like the opening sequence just grab you, oh, okay. where a lot of it was just his face. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of like Thank you. it was quite <laughs> it was quite like steady throughout. Mm. It was quite like you got the gist of it. So you want to like it's good, yeah, but the maybe sequence is meant to be like maybe oh, adding a, in mm. a dramatic mm. like. It's like the first out. chapter of a like the first page of a book. You're like you need that. Yeah. Oh, but, then, but, then, but then, there was a cliffhanger. But then, not yeah. mm, But then, at the beginning of the what book. What's the cliffhanger? That was bad. What happens in the picture that you sent? Well, yeah, because on a flight. Oh, that was the cliffhanger. Oh, my God. oh, it was quite a subtle cliffhanger. There you right. go. Okay, right. it was too subtle. I need to make it a bit more obvious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, no, I, I got the story <coughs> right, but it was um, about inappropriate use of text and messaging and things like that, and obviously the social ostracisation that will come after that. My, my only thing is saying was last time was kind of linking it into the, where he was going, that he was actually going to school. That's, that's the only thing that confused me. Yes, yeah, so yeah, and I suppose what would have helped me was if we'd lingered on that text message for a bit longer and made it really clear what that said, because I guess it said, I've got something to show you if you've shown me something or whatever. That would have been helpful. Um, yeah, there was something else, but I've forgotten now. Well, the close-up video of his eyes is supposed to be him taking the picture. <coughs> yeah, I'm just saying that had a sound effect. Oh, yeah, sound effect there would have been good. Phone shutter. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, a, a camera shutter clip would have been good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe the image of him, kind of one shot of him holding the camera, holding the phone ready, mm. that would have, and then with a sh then quick shot of that, then back to his face with a, with a shutter set, mm. that would have done it. Mm. I, I understood what was going on, I think. Yeah. I quite got the gist because the mm. title, and I got the whole thing with the phone, but like it's back to the cliffhanger thing again. Mm. I think emphasising which parts were the main part of the film. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, over to you. <laughs> Did you understand the storyline? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was. The story was clear. <laughs> <laughs> Put to use. That's very nice. Very nice very indeed. Nice. Only the school thing. Yeah, contextualisation for that. That's all for me. I like 
everything else about it. I think maybe your yeah, actors maybe might have needed a little bit more direction because it was only the one girl who kind of looked at him in disgust. Mm. And I would have thought that, that in reality they all would have gone, oh, oh, oh look at that, and then sort of like jeered at him. And... Well, I had a kind of a giggle while they were on the floor. Yeah, oh, they were laughing. Oh, here he comes. They were laughing. Yeah, it, it was, that was just a bit too subtle for me. Yeah, I suppose you're right, because you then sort of focus on the girl on the left, mm. because she's the only one that's expressioning, mm-hmm. expressionising, when everybody else is kind yeah. of looking at their phones. Yeah. That one where you're going across like the, the street, yeah. if you make it a bit smoother, right. peachy. Maybe you could, like, the music could just, like, stop and it could be, like, a dramatic moment. No, I don't, like, I don't think that was I, mean? I thought lots of emotions came across. No, yeah. if, you add something, like, if you add something in that final bit, what the cliffhanger might thing? have been more obvious. Like what, then? Like, just, like, no, one no, phrase just, or, like, tiny little... Yeah, just, like, oh, well, tiny snippet, just, just, like... That's what I mean, like, you make the music, make the music If you do, like, slag or something, <laughs> so she oh, says that... Oh, I film, like... People from the group yes, say yeah. things and then put it over the top. Or yeah. just like her, oh, when she turns yeah. around, like she that. could say something and then that. Look at that. Quite yeah, that that's her ghostly voice. That's like, <laughs> yeah, like the Same music could drown out with it and then thing. she could say something and then he could be like physically hurt and then bam, you can kind of decisive. Right, does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. But it was like a voiceover. Yeah. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. I think. Maybe. I think. The um, music was quite. I wouldn't say loud, but it was mm. there. If it was more a bit more subtle, I was just toned like, down yeah. a little bit. Okay. Then you, it would take the. Like you're more focused on the music then, but if you turned it down a bit, then you'd be more focused on him. Mm. And what's but then I think the it story. was. I thought it was quite good though, because it was quite emotional, wasn't it? it I mean, was yeah, not quite. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, don't take it out. You make it more yeah. subtle. But you, you add to more voiceovers, like with yeah. people saying like bitchy comments Slag. about mm. yeah. And then when if you <laughs> take the music out when she says like slag or something, then that would be more effective because or that's just the lower the volume. Yeah. So it's like. You've got this sad music and then bam, slag. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh god! Like, do you think I could add any? Um, like when he takes when he that close one of his eyes, he's supposed to be like taking a picture. Maybe like the sound of the water. Yeah, like things like that. Yeah, just little things that add, like, that make more it real more realistic. Yeah, it. more yeah. diegetic sounds. Yeah, oh. that's the one. I initially thought it was a trailer, but that's probably my understanding of what you would, what you were doing and what the brief was. Um, and also, when you tend to look at things like that, when you're looking at a film, you don't just watch the opening sequence. You see that, and then it goes on, doesn't it? But a trailer is that's that's how it's presented to you. You see a snippet, and kind of, I made the assumption it was a trailer, but I can see that there's just not enough <coughs> information in that sequence to make it a trailer because it only literally shows, sets the scene there's nothing further on yeah, the yeah, trailer yeah. you get way 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 more yeah because when when you're sitting in in the cinema you've already made the decision to go see it so you, you've got 100 percent attention you're yeah. watching the screen and you're looking forward through the opening sequence to the rest of the film but with a trailer you've got maybe 30 or 60 seconds to grab their attention so i think if if you wanted to make that the trailer you would probably need to have it a little bit more snappy and tell them what the film's about because yeah which is not, is not what was going on there it was nice and subtle so yeah yeah because it, it was, was the opening sequence yeah it was a long winded trailer <laughs> i think a trailer says oh i guess you no, can see it as a trailer yeah but in trailers don't you find that they have something from every stage of the movie do you know what i mean not necessarily not always, but... because that could be like star wars <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Star Wars didn't give away any of the plot in the trailer. Yeah, so it still it only, made it look awesome. And it still made it look good. So it only sort of took little bits from like the start and maybe the middle. Nothing from the so end. So the trailer has more like information. Well, that's what Not I that, mean. Just more, more just snippets of the whole right, thing rather I mean. than lots just of trailers trying to give Lots of trailers give away the right story <laughs> throughout to yeah. like interest people. Yeah. So, in other words, what you're specific. saying is. That the opening sequence didn't have as much information. But yeah. do you think it gave you like a general sense of it? Yeah. But it didn't give away like the so first, 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 the first bit was too quick. Yeah. So you get a lot you get all the uh, this is this production and that. Yeah. And then you get a really quick snippet of the actual he's taking a photo or whatever, and then yeah. it's a lot of him walking down a lane and yeah, there was half a, of it was the lane bit and him looking yeah. at someone. Is that, is that a key part though? You might, that is a key part. It exactly. is a key part, exactly. but it needed a little could. bit more of the first Like the voices. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I, I wanted to find out what happened to him next and how he dealt with the situation he found himself in. Yeah. And you know, what did he do? Who did he talk to? How did he, did he remake friendships? Did he get over that? Did he get revenge? What did he do? How did he go about it? Because he could, mm. it could go many different ways, couldn't it? He could, uh, yeah. he could go a little bit psycho and uh, cause, I, some I, child, cause some issues. I would be interested to see just how quickly something like that that's posted to social media or out, you know, through text and stuff actually spreads because I'm, you know, these things can just go within seconds, whoosh, it goes to one person and then five minutes later it's at ten people and then a hundred and then it just goes trailer, and goes actually, and goes and goes and then you could have the entire school yeah. plus parents plus associated friends or whatever seeing this picture of this boy just from this one very poor snap that, that, would, be, that would be a really good just thing to see how trailer. quick it goes yeah and then it gets spread to people that don't even know him and then it just he's just a faceless you hear about it on the victim. news don't you yeah. those 
crazy. Yeah, yeah cuz then that's yeah. going to what what's going to happen to him? Yeah. Cuz he could he's already a little bit um he's vulnerable, delicate he? and vulnerable yeah. because he talks about his father leaving, yeah. so this could cause all sorts of problems and uh yeah, so what's going to happen next? What could happen next? It, it could be alcohol, could drugs, suicidal. Yeah. It could be anything. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. might want revenge. It could turn into a murder. Well, the time is social suicide. Social suicide. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe he bears yeah. this grudge for like a decade, and in 10, 20 years' time, when you know the, all those kids have grown up, maybe he does seek revenge on them. How disturbing that you think mm. that. Well, no, <laughs> I was just thinking of everything. Oh. It was it, it was very throwing and drew me in. <laughs> Yeah, you wanted to know what happened. And I it. wanted to yeah. see what, what was going to happen next. Not going to lie, I feel as if I kind of watched the film in it. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Quite a lot happens. See in what that I mean? I did yeah, but then there could be like a jump forward where you get revenge and stuff like that. It's yeah, psychopath. Exactly. Yeah. But like, well, what could that, happen? From that, I feel <laughs> like I knew he was pulling his trousers down, yeah. taking his cheeky pick, sent it to her. Oi, oi. And then, oi, oi. And then, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I kind of watched it in that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I what kind of things do you think there would be to find out? If that's only the start, and it's not like the whole story as you go through, then I think it's alright because you could take it, like you could do twists and take it many different ways. Mm. Whereas if you, if that was it, and then the rest of the story is him like crying or whatever, yeah. then that's what ruined it. it because well, yeah. you've had the twist or the, the the main thing right at the start, and then the film's just. Do you think the title yeah. gives you a hint? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But could it be a metaphor though? It could be a oh, metaphor. Oh, give me. I don't yeah, know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> because you never know. He might try and commit suicide, but he doesn't actually. Exactly. So it could go two ways. 